Hello and welcome back to the Sovereign FX YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over how sessions affect trading volumes, how trading times affect how fast or how volatile the markets are. Okay, so what you're seeing here, don't worry about this. This is a trade we took with the group. We're currently in this trade. So okay, can you break this down quick because price was in a downtrend. Price was in a downtrend made a low came back made resistance so we're expecting in this four hour to actually come and retest the lows so that's simply it then the other trade we are on is on gbp jpy we took these buys as we broke this resistance and we are waiting for price to hit our take profit at 20 pips so this will help you understand how sessions affect market structure Okay, so here, here are the signals that I've sent out to the group, and that's basically it. So let's dive right into today's video. Okay, so when trading, there are a number of sessions, and here are the sessions with the most volume and when price moves the most per candle so first session will be the london stroke london session so you'll actually have to search this up so that you can align your time with the current time zone we have pre new york New York session. We also have so we have the New York session and maybe NYSE open. Okay, so you'll have to go over to Google, search these sessions up and align them with your current maybe you are in as of as of now my time zone is utc plus three i'm not sure about yours so that's why i am encouraging you to search up these sessions and make sure it aligns with your time zone so i can't give you a definite number so what happens is that there are two candles two candles two four hour candles that mostly have the biggest volume and it is the london candle and the new york candle so that's why you want to have a majority of your trades because if you realize these ones occur during asian session the market's dead the sydney session and but these volatile moves occur during london and new york session because many traders around the world are in the market during those times so what what i do if you want to have a better market analysis you want to before you hand you want to have your pre-market analysis so as for today so i'm using today's example i came to the market and realized gold is bearish Two candles are back to back bearish strongly bearish so all I did was draw out my newly formed resistance then wait just sit and wait for the four hour to make a resistance so this is what happened or actually made a resistance and this is where we get our entry so as you know this is a setup on a higher time frames and for you to get better entries you want to go down to the lower time frames so you could drop down to the hourly till you find a suitable setup so here the best setup was as price broke this minor support you would execute so execute a sell here so we executed one trade in the morning 
it just stops just above the resistance took around 30 pips close the first trade and let the other trade run so we enter using dynamic risk so we have at least two or three trades we break down our risk into three trades or you could just enter one trade then close partials one and the same thing so today's video is going to be short because the the concept is quite simple you want to trade during volume times as you can see candles push so this was also a valid setup because as price was making resistance you could just wait for a candle to break above and close above this minor resistance take your trade with stop losses below the previous candle and target this next zone so that's basically it thank you leave a like subscribe drop a comment if you have any questions you could also join the free group or the paid group whatever floats your boat see you next time